Yep, Dabba YouTube. What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Zockstar once again, coming at you with another vlog. On today's vlog, I thought I'd do something different. I've had a few people ask me what I do for work, and is it possible to to do a vlog on that? And I decided, why not? Let's take you to work. So <coughs> I'm on my way now. I've just dropped the wife off, and I'm just going to go in here and grab a coffee. And then we'll take you to work. So, without any further ado, let's Scooby Doo. Alright, guys, so I've just got my coffee. Best way to start the day, especially when you're getting up at four o'clock in the morning. All right. <clears throat> Let's rock and roll. So, yeah, had a few people ask me on on Instagram, a few comments on, on, um, on my YouTube videos. What do I do for work? Well, I'm going to show you. I work for a recycling centre. We recycle a lot of e-waste, computers, printers, electrical items, all your household items that you find in your home. We mainly do tyre recycling. So if you're looking at someone who does, or someone who is eco-friendly, then look no further. I am Mr. Eco. <laughs> we shred a lot of these car tyres. Otherwise, if it wasn't for us, we're talking in the vicinity of tens, if not hundreds of millions of tyres would end up in landfill, and that's not, that's not on tyres take hundreds of years to to degrade and um, decompose or decompost or whatever you want to call it but <coughs> we shred the tyres, turn it into a crumb product and we sell it to other companies who turn that into other products so we're doing our bit here for the environment um, not many people do this sort of stuff. A lot of um, dodgy operators out there just collect the tyres and then just throw them wherever they can. They'll take them up the bush somewhere and just dump them in the dump them at night somewhere. But we actually we recycle them. But we've just taken on our e-waste recycling. Uh, I don't know if you know much about e-waste, but that is even a bigger problem than car tyres. Um, when you're talking about e-waste, some countries produce like a football stadium, maybe even bigger. About a football stadium's worth of e-waste almost every day. And when you look at that on a global scale, we're talking 20, 30 football fields or stadiums of e-waste are being dumped every day. And if we don't do anything about it, that problem's going to be... I don't know, it's going to be 10 times worse than what it is today. So let's go and have a look at what we do. I'm just going to show you what I do for this vlog. If you're interested in these vlogs and you like them, then give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more of uh, what I do here. Um, so just for today, I'm just going to show you what I do with the recycling of the rubber and the tyre shred. We chop, chop. We chop the tyres up, we shred them, and then we ship them overseas. So join me on that, and I'll see you on the other side of this. All right, guys, so here I am at work. Um, just want to quickly do a check over on the Bobcat. I do a little service on it every morning. Check the oil, water, um, grease are up. So I'll just show you a bit of that, and then we'll get on with it.
Welcome back guys. <coughs> Never a dull moment here at work. Just arrived and we've been told one of the guys from yesterday we've got one of the forklifts bogged up in the yard so we're going to go out and pull it out, rescue it. Send the uh, the invoice to the e-waste department, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, recovery recovery fee. All right, mate.
into the bin. Get on to that a bit later. Let's go and have a look at the yard. So yeah, this is my place of work guys. That thing flies! That thing's got a bit of pace! Yeah, <laughs> Alright, right, so this is the yard people, boys and girls. See, we, there's a lot of e-waste here, a lot of printers, mainly printers come in through this place, a lot of computers, microwaves, ovens, uh, we're seeing a lot of old style of televisions, the big screen, I'll just show you in here. that but there's a lot of old the large TVs that we all used to have years ago everyone has the flat screen TVs these days and even those we're getting hundreds and thousands of those people just seem to replace them every couple of years they don't last as long as they the old televisions did vacuum cleaners electric fans Another pile of e-waste, toy cars, video recorders, old VHS recorders, amplifiers, um, yeah, you name it, we got it. Anything that can be powered by electricity is classified e-waste and we recycle it. this 
main job that I do most of the time when I'm at work. I load containers and when I've got some spare time I help with loading tyres onto the conveyor. I'll do some general cleanups, load the bin over there. We've got some earth movers down the back uh, backyard or the front yard. And um, occasional work inside on the machines. And that's about it. My work hours are flexible. I change my work time from uh, 7 o'clock till 3 just to suit my wife because she started at 7 about a year ago and then they changed her schedule to 6. And I used to drive her to work at 6, but now, uh, at 7 I mean, but now when you're going in at 6, I don't want to be sitting in the car park for an hour until my shift starts, so I just start, started working at 6, so it works good for both of us, we're only driving one car to work, I drop her off and then pick her up at the end of the day, so it saves us petrol, once again being eco-friendly, trying not to burn too much fuel, I want to try and push this bit up because it's in the wrong position, do an inspection of the containers just in case there's damage I'll take a photo of it <coughs> and use that later in case they try to blame us for some damage okay looks good I'll move the ramp over and we'll get to loading What's 